I know several financial advisors that just will tell stories, actual legitimate stories that happen. So instead of asking for a referral, they'll just simply share an experience and say, you know, if, if let's say the advisor is talking to a client, how are you doing? Um, you know, we haven't talked for a while. How's it going? And, and the advisor goes, you know, life is great. Uh, I just got to tell you, like we're on cloud nine right now because a couple of days ago, a really great long-term client uh, introduced us to a family member who was going through something that was just not very pleasant. And first of all, it was an honor, but also it just reminded me, this is why I became a financial advisor. And then they got a little granular on the story, you know, right. came widowed. It was very sudden, a, you know, a lightning strike, um, totally unprepared and totally overwhelmed. And I could just see their apprehension melt away as we started to lay out a bit of a plan. And, you know, it just reminds me, this is this is why I love what I do. Nowhere are they asking for a referral. They're just investing a previous experience into uh, how they're perceived and described. So uh, why, who, how? I'd love your take on that. I've got a few other questions for you. I, I think we could probably go for another couple hours, but I've got a couple more questions for you, but I'd like your take on some of that. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I agree totally. Uh, there's something you said there. Um, here's the process our clients use to introduce us. You know, that's a line, if you will, that could go in the language of referrals because it's it, it's it's something that, that you can remember and use and repeat. One, one of the phrases at the end of the book, I have a little section I call it power phrases. Mm. It's uh, one of them, my favorite. Let me just, before I get into what I was going to, where I was going to go, I'll deviate here. My favorite one of all phrases I've ever learned in my entire life. <laughs> you ready for this drum roll, please? <laughs> Three words. Tell me more. Anytime a client is telling you about something, just tell me more. Anytime okay. you're at an event with friends, family, colleagues, and they're telling you a story about their trip to Hawaii, whatever, tell me more. Someone has an objection to an idea, whether it's introductions or something else that you're suggesting, tell me more. Um, it's That's one of the power for you, right? Okay, so I got to yeah. pounce on that for just a second. Hold that thought <laughs> just for a second because... That is so subtle and yet so profound. I think the lost art is, and this is, you know, a sound bite, but mm -hmm. the lost art is the more you emphasize being interested as opposed to trying to be interesting, you become more referable. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So the phrase I was getting to is, here's what I found works the best. Everyone likes to know what works the best, right? So if you say, you know, you've mentioned your sister and brother-in-law a few times, assuming we come up with an approach that feels comfortable for everybody, would you be opening? Would you be open to introducing me to them? Can we chat about that? First of all, it's not going to hurt any relationship, right? They'll either be open or not. It doesn't matter. And if they say, yeah, what do you, what do you have in mind? Well, here's what I found works the best. And now they may not want to do what you suggest, but it's good to have your favorite way. It's good to have a way that, you know, works pretty well most of the time, but being flexible. Um, Cause here's what's going on. If, if I could draw a Venn diagram, here's what's going on in this introduction process. Your clients, your introducers, your partners, your, your, your vast team members, <laughs> as you said, um, they want to protect their relationships. That's their prime directive here, right? Protect my relationships. Make sure this is comfortable for everybody. Now you respect that for sure. And your prime directive is how do I create a good connection, right? How do I get connected in a way that's relevant and will spark their interest and maybe earn the right to a Zoom call or an appointment? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, where those two come together is here's what works the best here's let's 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 collaborate let's talk about let's brainstorm whatever word you want to use on how to make this approach comfortable for everybody and you know for lucky duncan we'll maybe we'll spark their interest in hearing from me so we want it comfortable and we want it to work and so here's what i found works the best is one of the power phrases uh, near the end of the book 
the words matter and and the words matter for a couple of reasons the words matter for ourselves because we need to find the words that, that we can say and so for instance when i when i talk about asking for introductions i often use the word brainstorm let's brainstorm a little bit and i've been doing this for 30 years and i know a lot of advisors don't feel comfortable using that word which means they shouldn't use it right they can say explore think about put our heads together collaborate whatever word represents the dynamic of what we're trying to create here no pressure we're just brainstorming so i they matter to us and they also matter on how they land on other mm -hmm. folks and we never know exactly how our words are going to land on other people because what it means to me may not be the same as what it means to you that's why it's always important to to check in and to make sure expectations are matching and that we really are indeed talking about the same thing because um, when expectations mismatch we know that's that can hurt the relationship if not kill the relationship well, and, and my takeaway from that is, and this is proven time and time again, I mean, there are a lot of speakers on referrals and it's trying to be pretty slick. The most consistently attractive advisors are folksy and authentic. Yeah, yeah. They're not trying to be too esoteric and, you know, even just saying like, here's what works best. I mean, what that, what I hear if I'm a client is that this isn't something new. This is what other people are doing. Right. Therefore it must be real and it must be safe because this, this is something, and I'm sure you you're hammering the same thing is that I just keep reminding advisors, look, unless and until I know exactly how referring my friend to you will ultimately come back to reflect on me. I'm not going there. <laughs>